It's been a while since our last Kestrel update because it's been a particularly dramatic time for this pair. The incubation went well and five chicks hatched, which was great news. But then things took a real bad turn for the worst. The female unfortunately died on the nest. We didn't know why the female died on the nest, but the important thing then was to save these chicks. We got the chicks into rehabilitation. We were able then to save three of them. The chicks can't be left in the nest because they are so tiny, and at that stage they're very dependent on the female. The male provisions the food and brings it to the female, but it's the female that tears the food up and almost tit bits these tiny little chicks. So there's no other choice apart from bringing these chicks into captivity. Over the next few weeks, the chicks were cared for at Rydale Rehabilitation Center, and it was amazing to watch them grow. Once the chicks were developed enough and they're at the right age, we put them up on a tower in the garden, still in an enclosure. I wanted them to see this place as home. And then the big day came, it was time to release these birds back into the wild. Right, I'm gonna open up the box and then these birds are free. It's been many weeks getting them to this stage from a tiny little chicks. This is really quite a big moment, this. After such a disastrous start for these kestrels' lives, it was absolutely magic watching these birds flying free on the wing. And what was even more special that day is actually they flew off into the trees behind us, testing themselves on the wind, and then they actually came back to the tower where I released them. They'd actually seen this tower as home. In the first few hours of release, it was amazing to watch how inquisitive they were, exploring all the different areas in the garden. Two of the young kestrels even came face to face with the stoat, and I'm not sure who was more confused, the stoat or the kestrel. It was a real standoff moment, and it was good to see them survive their first dangers in the garden. Thank you for following the story of the Kestrels, and if you're enjoying the videos, keep up to date with me on social media.